So in the end, where did this come down to? What's the difference in the game? Here? Uh, it's just a bounce. You know, one one play at the end, three on three hockey. It's a good hockey game. I thought our team played well. They, you know, we knew they were going to come into our building uh, and play a real hard, direct game. Uh, they got a really good team over there, proud group, and uh, it was a good hockey game. I thought our team played well. What, what makes them so difficult to get shots against? They, they're one of the league leaders in shots against. Uh, they held you down for, you know, it seemed to go back and forth a little bit, but but they did hold you down at key times without any shots or low number of shots. What makes them so good that way? A good defensive team. They, they do a good job in their D-zone coverage. They box out well. They play a structured game. They're committed on both sides of the puck. What was the uh, uh, first time we saw uh, Rodin play today? I thought he was good. Looked good. Uh, he's got real nice hands. He's quick. Made some nice plays. Uh, probably if you ask him, he probably got a little tired as the game went on. Uh, did um, uh, specific reasons for pairing him with uh, Peltier and Grenier? Uh, I like the Valk line right now. I like Hamilton, Banks, and Vertanen. Uh, that's pretty well it. Castles, Kunick, and Lebate have played together, and he kind of fits. The, all three of them play the power play, so... They were productive today, too. They were good. Yeah, they were good. Um, Patrick Demko, his play tonight. Right. He's good. Uh, he, he had uh, in, in, anything um, on that I mean, last goal, obviously, it was a turnover there, takeaway turnover. Uh, anything he did wrong there? To... No. Okay. Um, you think he did anything wrong? Well, there's this little gap there, and the guy put it there, you know, and, the guy made a hell of a shot, really. Yeah. Um, well, I didn't have too much to criticize his performance. <laughs> you asked the question. Uh, <laughs> no, I, you know, you're right. You're, you're right. You got me. <laughs> rutanen has been here a while today. Uh, what's your assessment of how he's progressing? He's coming. Uh, you know, I, I think his, his conditioning is getting better. Uh, you know, his shift in, shift out, his uh, consistency in his shifts. As far as his pace and his tenacity uh, are getting better, I, uh, little details in his game, uh, you know, are, are coming. I like the way he's progressing. Power play goal tonight. Obviously, he didn't have too many opportunities on the power play, but uh, it's, I think eight or nine goals now in the uh, last couple of games here. What are they doing on the power play that's that's helping? You know, a lot like last time we talked about the penalty kill. I thought the power plays kept their, our head above water, uh, especially with missing, you know, a lot of key guys. We lost Chaput, Magna, uh, different guys have gone up. You know, Peltz has obviously helped. Rodin's come in. Kinger, Kinger's done a real good job uh, teaching them and, and coming up from game to game, different, different things we want to do. And uh, they've been pretty solid, knock on wood. Scott, what, uh, what was the difference here tonight, or was there much of a difference? I mean, could have... I think it could have gone either way. Uh, they played a solid third, though. They, 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 push, they push back, they push the pace, and then uh, we, uh, I thought we played a solid game, but it could have gone either way. Uh, what, you know, they, they tend to hold teams down, down in terms of shots. Yeah. They're one of the leaders in the league in that category, and they held you guys down pretty well in shots today. Uh, well, how, how does that happen? Why, how do they do it? Well, they, they swarm pretty good. They, they're a very well-structured team. Uh, they they box out pretty well, so you gotta you gotta battle for everything you get. They won't give you anything for free. Demko made some pretty big stops tonight. Uh, what do you think of uh, his his play tonight? Well, I wouldn't say just tonight. It's been uh, since I've been here, it's been terrific. Yeah. Uh, he he held uh, he held the team in the game quite often, uh, and he's making some very big saves at, at key moments and. It's, a good goalie. How about your line tonight with uh, uh, Andre and um, Roden? Uh, first time you guys together? Yeah, we uh, we practiced uh, yesterday, I think, together. But yeah, that was the first game for uh, for Rhodes uh, coming back from his injury, and first game together with Grands and, uh, and I. You guys seem to fit together pretty well, though. You you picked it up pretty pretty quickly. Yeah, well, we uh, we know our role. I mean. As much as we need to be uh, 
solid defensively, we need to create uh, as well offensively, and we tried to do that tonight. Did you feel like you had enough enough chances tonight? To obviously, you know, not a lot of shots on goal. Uh, we were decent the first power play. We didn't generate much on that second one, but uh, like I said, five on five, uh, they don't come by too often. And then uh, we did have a couple chances, but uh, their goalie came up pretty big too as well. Power play has been clicking, seems like, uh, pretty well. You didn't have too many uh, power play opportunities tonight, but what's been working the, the past uh, couple games on, on the power play? Well, I'd say that Jason King's doing a pretty good uh, job at uh, pre-scouting uh, the, the opponent, so we we have some structure into our, our or power play, but uh, we had some uh, some tweak here and there, depending on who we're playing against, and just about, about like passing the puck around and trying to find the, the open guy. You know, a couple of years ago, I remember you mentioned the scouting report on the, on the power play, or three years ago, whatever it was now. And so, do you do you? I mean, you know, you're going to play on the power play. Do you watch a lot of film on that on the opposition? Yeah. Well, it is. I mean, we whether it's five on five, PP or PK, like. The coaching staff are getting the team ready very well, whether it's Bomber, Greener, or Kinger. So uh, the night in, night out, like we know what we got to do to uh, to try to beat the opponent. And, and, and you take a look at maybe little little um, uh, idiosyncrasies that some maybe an opposing defenseman has. Yeah, on. well, I mean, obviously every team's has tendencies, so we're trying to to the coaches are trying to find it, and then uh, we're trying to to use it on their advantage. What do you think of uh, three on three overtime? Did they have that in the, the KHL? No, no, actually, I haven't. Uh, I haven't experienced that yet. It's always been four on four, especially on the big ice. I mean, this three on three, it's going to be would be impossible basically to play. So I haven't uh, had a chance to play uh, or see actually a three on three because when I left, I think that's when they changed it. Yeah, so, yeah. but it's good for the crowd. It's very wide open and entertaining.